Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Again, I already dove into this project before I decided to film it. I wasn't sure what I was going to come into, but uh, anyways, I'm working on a 2800 PSI pressure washer here. It's a diamond brand. It's got a Briggs & Stratton engine on it. So you can see I already got it apart. And the customer's complaint was that it runs fine, but it doesn't make any pressure. So it's not a pressure washer anymore. It's just a washer. <laughs> Anyways, I went over a couple of things. I pulled the the regulator out. And I just made sure it was, wasn't was rusted or seized or anything. And that's all fine. It's got good flow in and out. It, that was all right. But uh, what I did find after I separated it was uh, there's a keyway here in the motor, in the engine. And that keyway goes into the pump here. And there was no key. So it... Uh, sheared and fell out or flew out somewhere I don't know now if the pump seizes or whatever something grenades inside here it'll shear keys and it does all kinds of nasty stuff but I've I'm able to move this by hand if I can turn it it's not seized I don't know what what actually happened to it why it broke but anyways what we'll do is We'll measure this keyway. Let's get you a light on. There we go. Measure this keyway up here. Can't see with the light now. There you go. Three sixteenths. I got a piece of key stock today, hopefully. Throw it in, throw it back together, we'll fire it up and see if it becomes a pressure washer again. Okay, I popped down to my local uh, hardware store, well, auto parts store that stocks just about everything in the small town. And they had some 3 16 key stock. So this is about a foot of 3 16 square stock. So what I'm going to do is I'll, I want as much key in there as I can. If you put too short of a key, it's going to have too much stress on it. There you go. <laughs> so we'll get that set down all the way in the bottom. We can see here on the motor that the shiny spot is how much goes in the pump so I want to get as much in there as I can so we'll just get it sunk in there put a little sharpie mark across here it looks like it's way low but it's actually not we'll get that stuck in the vise cut it off deburr the corners and we'll get this thing uh, refit all right guys it's gonna be real hard for you to see but Essentially, what's going to happen is these bolts have to go up through the pump and in through the engine flange and then through the, well, through the plate and then into the engine flange and then that goes on the top. So what I did was I got my key set up. I chamfered this corner just a little tiny bit where it's got to slide over the uh, engine shaft just so it lines up nice and easy. And I put a blob of grease on the in the slot, and so the key will stick to it. So it's not going to want to flop all over the place. So let's see if we can get in there and get that thing put together. So we'll get the pump lined up first. Where's our key? There's the slot. There's the key. So we can get the pump slid on there a little first. Eh, it's lined up. It's in there. Now the trick is holding the engine, the pump, and everything all together and getting bolts through everything. Oh, jeez. Let's get the bolts in there first. Then through the base plate into the engine. Okay, stay, stay. Get a nut started. Okay, I think we're pretty safe. <laughs> now we need to get the rest of the hardware started through there. And... Whoa, whoa, I need more hands. Second bolt. We're doing okay. That was not an easy one to get the nut on. Oh, 
Okay. So that's where it's going to go. I know you guys couldn't see much of that, but I couldn't help it. I had to hang on to the engine. Let's see if we can get a better shot here. So there's our mounts, one through here, one through here, and there's one on the back side of the pump that we can't see. So I'm going to run that other bolt in there and get all three of the nuts tightened up. And hopefully, we can get this thing making pressure soon. Half inch wrench on the top, I believe it was a half. A little snug, we use 13 because I know the the hex that needs to these bolts are a socket head bolt. So it uses a hex in there. I know it was metric. What I don't know. What I don't know is where the, there it is. What happens is we got too many projects going on at the same time. Let's get this one tightened up. Good and tight. There's only three, so it's pretty simple. Two, and I can't get the the hex bit on this one very easily, so I might have to resort to a key unless I can get just the hold the bolt my fingers enough to get the nut tight. Seems to be working so far. Perfect, okay, so I'm going to drag it outside, hook it up to the hose, let's see if we can get this thing to make some pressure. Hmm, that goes there. I think we saved it. All right, we'll get the camera reset out there and see what happens. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I've got the uh, I've got the water supply hooked up. Uh, the water's on. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the trigger on the ho on the uh, on the gun there, and I'm going to let water flow through the pump to make sure there's no air in it, so the pump doesn't cavitate. Once the air is out of it, and I'm getting a straight stream of water. Then I'm going to fire up the engine and see if it builds pressure.
It's a pressure washer again. The customer's going to be so happy. Okay, guys, that'll do it for this video. The pressure washer that wasn't making pressure is now a pressure washer again. Turned out to be a sheared and demolished key between the motor and the pump. Seems to be making nice pressure now. Seems to run good. Customer says it's got very low hours on it, so he says it's only got about six hours on it. But it had to be something relatively simple. Either that or a, it was either going to be a bad key, bad pump, or a stuck pressure regulator check ball or a little valve in there. But uh, I was thinking maybe the pump had frozen cracked because uh, if you don't drain them, and you leave them out in a cold garage or a shed, they can freeze and crack that pump. Anyways, thanks for joining me on this one, guys. Don't forget to uh, leave me a comment, click that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't. And until the next video, take care. We'll see you later.